spoiler alert, the Teradex Spark 4K truly is a zero latency wireless transmission system. We're gonna walk through some of the features of this specific system and why I think it's so great. But first, I do want to let you know I reached out to Teradek and they were willing to send this over. And I'm so appreciative that they have done so. So we want to thank them by hitting the like button in this video. Now, I've already unboxed this. I've already actually demoed this on my Amazon Live channel. So if you're not following me on Amazon, check out the link in the description below because I literally unboxed this and set this up in a matter of minutes live on Amazon. Look at that, completely wireless. You gotta love wireless video, right? So that video would actually show you the process and how fast this system allows you to get up and running. But let's first talk about use case, because if you follow any of my work, typically you see that I'm hardwired in in most every instance. Not just my internet hardwired, but all my cameras are typically hardwired as well. And one of the reasons is because I don't want latency. Now in certain instances, we know that we need different camera angles, something that's a little bit further away or in an angle that you may not use a traditional tripod or you just don't feel like running cables. Now we will not look at my cable management here at home because that is a cable management nightmare. Now I'm no stranger to using a wireless video transmission system, but typically what I'll do is use my wireless video for a wide shot because I don't want to see the audio and the video out of sync, especially when live streaming a speaker. That's very essential to think about when using this type of system. But with the Teradex Spark 4K, we're gonna do a test and you'll see that this thing has zero latency and I'm going to compare it to one of my other systems that I use on a regular basis. Now this is a very simple system and I like simple and I know you do as well. So let's first start off by talking about the transmitter. Now the transmitter is a very small lightweight system that you can easily mount on top of a camera. Now typically I use my Sony a6400 cameras and with the cold shoe mount adapter I can mount this right on top of the camera and it does not overpower the camera. Essentially it doesn't get in the way. Some wireless transmission systems are a little bulky, a little big and they don't quite fit on your camera rig in a way that is conducive to your overall workflow. Now on the front of the transmitter, you do have an LCD screen that allows you to see the video rate that you're transmitting and that the video is actually transmitting along with a battery indicator. Now on the back of the transmitter, we have our power on and off button. We have a button to resync if we somehow lose synchronization with our receiver. We have a USB-C port that we use for charging. And finally, it has an HDMI input that allows you to connect your camera into the transmitter. Now the receiver is essentially the same thing, just a little bit larger. It has the LCD screen, lets you know that video is being transmitted. And with this, you don't have the battery indicator because we actually use our DC power to have continuous power to the receiver. Now on the back of the receiver, we have our on off button, our sync button, USB-C port as well that you can use for power on a power bank, DC power, which is what I typically use and prefer, along with our HDMI out. And I use the HDMI out typically to go into a video switcher because I'm using the wireless camera as another input device and another camera angle. Earlier, I mentioned that this was an easy system and literally turning on the power for the transmitter and the receiver and within a few seconds, they will sync up and that is it. This is one of the easiest systems I've ever used. There's no antennas to go along with it, so you're not gonna have to worry about losing or breaking anything. Being able to have a simple form factor is a big deal for me. It's not a whole bunch of stuff you gotta carry around with you and it just works. It's really quiet. The only fan that I hear is actually on the um, transmitter unit itself. It's a little small fan that you'll hear underneath, but that's about it. And then on the uh, receiver unit, I don't hear anything. So now it's time to prove the fact that this is a zero latency system. I have my main camera connected to my HDMI splitter that is also connected with my Teradex Spark 4K and my Hollyland 400S Pro system, which is another 
HDMI transmission system. So let's take a look at that so that you can decide whether or not this is going to be the perfect device for you in this setup. Now I do want to shout out Alex Pettit and his channel because I saw he did a demonstration in this four panel window that I thought was very helpful. So I want to make sure that I share this with you as well, but also check out his channel for the review of the Teradex Spark 4K. Now in the upper left, I have my main camera, which is connected directly into my ATEM switcher. And then on the top right, I have the Teradex Spark 4K that's also connected via the splitter along with the Hollyland system, the 400S Pro, which is also a great system. But you can see that as I move around very quickly, you can see which two are in sync, the top two. And slightly trailing behind is the bottom system, which is not that far out of sync, but like I mentioned before, if you are switching scenes between a speaker on different camera angles, you'll probably notice an out of sync video using a slower system that doesn't have this type of response. There is a little color difference that I've noticed too with the Hollyland system. It seems like the Spark 4K, the colors are the exact same versus the Hollyland where the colors are a little bit different. So I really love the fact that now there is a practical system on the market that allows us to stream wireless video with zero latency. Now, I really do wish that the battery indicator had more of a percentage time because it just has the icon associated with it. Now, it is important to know that you do have just over an hour of battery life, so that is one thing to consider when using the transmitter. Now, because of this one hour battery life, and I typically do longer live streams, I do have a USB-C power bank that I bring with me, so I will attach that in the description section along with everything else that I mentioned in this video. My office is upstairs, so I went downstairs to see if it could pass through walls and things like that. Uh, once I got about halfway down the stairs, I started to lose connectivity with it, so definitely it's not something I'm gonna use passing through walls or you know different barriers, so you do want that line of sight when you're using these types of devices. 500 feet is what they say. Now it does get a little warm after you've been using it for some time. I wouldn't like keep your hands rested on it for long periods of time. There wouldn't be a reason to do so, but just an FYI, this device does get a little bit warm after you've been using it. Now, if you wanna see this in action along with a whole bunch of other cool equipment, make sure you watch the other videos here on the channel and I'll see you in the next one.